Today, I'm going to show you how to make pickled lovage. It's very quick, very easy. It's a very cold spring day here. It's the beginning of May, but uh, it's just about four degrees centigrade, slightly raining. There was actually some snowflakes in the air earlier. Anyway, I'm out here next to this lovage plant, and lovage is a perennial plant that has a lot of the same characteristics as celery. It's spicy, peppery, tastes like celery, similar shape, similar look, and it can be used in recipes in exchange for celery as a substitution. But I'm going to pickle some. So this plant gets very tall. It gets as tall as this greenhouse, uh, 10, 12 feet high. Uh, but I'm going to harvest some of it now when it's really tender. It tends to be a little bit more fibrous later on in the year. I'm just going to cut a few stalks off down here of the various stems and it's a nice, it's a hollow, it's round, so it makes it an attractive pickle and the leaves can be used in stock pot or even in salads. We're back inside where it's warm and we're gonna put our pickle brine together. We're gonna to heat it up and bring it to a boil and then we're gonna process our lovage and put it in a mason jar. So the three ingredients that are gonna go into this pickle brine are vinegar, here I have Champagne vinegar uh, mixed with a bit of white vinegar. I'm just using up some vinegar ends I had around. You would use any kind of vinegar you want. Normally you would maybe use white vinegar or rice vinegar, but here I've got champagne vinegar. That was around two cups. Now I have some sugar and here I have about half a cup, maybe a little bit more than half a cup, but not quite two cups, so it's just over, and I have some salt, not too much. This is about two tablespoons of salt. And I'm just gonna turn on my burner here and bring this to a boil. And that's it. I'm not gonna add any other aromatics or spices to the pickle brine. These are spicy enough, and I really wanna enhance the flavor of them and not distract from the flavor. So I'm definitely just going to keep it simple. I'm just gonna take the leaves off and I have a little jar, a little bowl here. So I'm left with some shoots here, uh, lovage stalks and some leaves. Leaves I'm gonna use for something else. So next I'm just gonna slice these up nice and neat. And they're like cute little donuts. I'm going to go slowly so that I don't knock them all onto the floor. This is what I got. Uh, I'm going to get a smaller jar. This one's too big. And I'm going to turn this off. Okay, so I've selected a more appropriate sized mason jar. And the nice thing about doing a quick pickle that you're going to keep in the refrigerator is you can do super small batches. You don't have to have a lot of product. You don't have to sit there and slice up hundreds of lovage stalks. You can just do a little tiny bit. Sometimes we have one or two plants growing in our garden and there's not enough to pickle like a giant pickle batch where you get out the pressure canner or the hot water bath and do the whole rigmarole so that you can keep them on the shelf. This is going to take up no space in the fridge and it's going to impart the pickleness on the lovage really quickly and I'm just all I have to do is make sure I store it in the fridge and everything will be good. Now I have a canning funnel that I'm just going to use to make sure that I don't spill. This is hot. It was boiling. I'm going to I want it to be hot when I pour it over. And I want to fill it all the way up to the top. Another tablespoon and this is it this is a beautiful little jar of pickled lovage maybe you have lovage in your yard and you don't know what to do with it 